Is this too good to give away? Hello everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and we are back with another edition of American Minuteman Gear. And today we're going to talk about the, the Flick, the FLC, uh, which is uh, America's old way of carrying equipment, right? This is like a low-bearing vest, kind of what we maybe not started GWAT with, but, but had during GWAT. Now it's kind of been phased out into more of the traditional, traditional, I say that in quotes, uh, chest rig, you know, like a TAPS chest rig. And uh, this is not my idea. I actually stole this from uh, Roman Alpha 6, which if I got your name wrong, buddy, I apologize. I will make sure to tag you in this so you get full credit because credit where credit's due, this is not my idea. And uh, he had purchased a flick and, and kind of set it up. And I really, really like that video and, and how he set it up. And I thought that looks interesting. So I bought one. And there's a couple things here that I think are interesting. Uh, one is I think this makes excellent giveaway kit. It's because it's so affordable, right? I bought this in the traditional ACU, you know, garbage for all in with the pouches like 70 bucks. Now, I've added my own mag pouches on here, right? This is a Condor. This is an AR500 armor. This is a med pouch from Dark Angel Medical. So there are more things on here than just that. I have a dump pouch. This is a Blackhawk dump pouch, right? Just some extras that I had lying around that I thought, oh, that would be better than, than what I got with the kid. So I'm going to put that on because that's a, a less used mag pouch. The mag pouches I did get with it. I bought it on eBay, um, used from some surplus store, and the mag pouches were pretty, they were pretty worn. They work, but they were pretty worn. Uh, so dyed it, right? So you got to put that into the cost because I did a dye job on it uh, and then kind of rolled with it. Um, this was a med pouch that came with it that I've just turned into a GP pouch. And then uh, I have canteen pouches back here on either side. So that's quick, quick layout of the land here. I originally bought that for a giveaway kit, right? So I can have it and I can give it away uh, to someone because it's kind of where I'm at right now is figuring out how I can have affordable, reliable giveaway kit that I can give to people. So I bought it for that purpose. Went out and ran it once on a patrol and uh, I was extreme, extremely impressed. Like it was really comfortable. Uh, because of this way this carries, once you get this kind of dialed in as far as there's straps on the back here to tighten um, the, the, and adjust it. And once you get it dialed in, it rides super comfortable. And we did a patrol at night for, I don't know, two or three hours, something like that. And all I wore was this. I did, it, I'll show you in a minute, but it does come with a pack, like a waist pack that you could put here. And I had that on there. I did have my poncho stuffed in the top and cinched down. I did lose the poncho. I don't know if that was a me thing because we were going through some brush or if that was a didn't have it cinched down enough thing or if it's just an actual equipment failure that you can't you know retain it but whatever aside from that one issue everything ran beautifully um super comfortable to walk around in for a couple hours um i was really impressed and i mean i got eight mags up front and two quarts of water and a med kit and you know i mean it, it's not it's not light i didn't weigh it but i guess i don't know 15 20 pounds whatever that weighs, probably more like 20, 25 uh, with the water on there. So super comfortable to be able to wear. And I thought, man, right now I'm, I'm running uh, the Onward Research chest rig is kind of my main squeeze. And I thought this could maybe push that out and I could maybe, maybe be a fan of this. Um, so let's talk about the, the advantages and disadvantages here. Now, I don't have it on there right now, but this is the waist pack that goes on the back. It has uh, two Molly uh, clip-ins. I don't know which one. Two ways to attach it to Molly, right? Just on the back here. And then this is a real simple kind of butt pack-like thing. It's called a waist pack. It also comes with this strap here so that you could uh, just wear it like a waist pack, I guess. I don't know. I usually stuff that down in the uh, side here. There's a little hole and you can just unclip and stuff the straps in there. That's what I had done and I had attached this to the back. Um, Carrying a pack with this attached, nah, that's going to be questionable, okay? As you can see right here, here's me wearing this with a pack. I have not gone out and done a patrol with it with a pack on, so full disclosure there, okay? But um, it fits pretty comfortable. Like, it doesn't, it, I think I could. I don't see why you couldn't wear this with a pack. Um, but that is going to preclude you from the butt pack, probably. Um, you can have it sit on top whenever, but I think that'd be uncomfortable. Um, the other thing that this kit setup precludes is carrying a pistol. I was actually carrying outside the waistband today and when I started to get this video ready, I put this on over my pistol and I had to take my pistol off. 
because it just it rides too close to my hip to be able to have a pistol there. So those are those are things you're definitely going to lose. That being said, I would say it's almost as comfortable as a you know around the hip kind of waistband setup. And because this is mesh and this is vented, it breathes really well. Uh, so super happy on those fronts, right? Super comfortable, breathes really well. Another really big advantage of this kind of kit setup that I like is that you can wear it in a vehicle. Because if I wear it like this, no butt pack, my back is clean. And because my back is clean, I can comfortably sit in a vehicle, right? So I can sit, I can do vehicle stuff in and out of this. If I wanted to wear plates, I could adjust this so it's a little bit bigger on the inside and just put plates on and throw this over my plates. I might feel a little Michelin Manny at that point, but my point is you could do it and then you don't have to change kit setups. And I like being able to do that and not change kit setups and being able to just, you know, again, take my vest, throw it on over my plates, all my stuff is in the same spot, all my stuff is set up the same way, and now I can work. Um, so I like being able to do that. So I think this, the, the Flick here, has a lot of different options. Now some of you are out there and you're like, well duh, Dylan, I could have told you that. And uh, you're smarter than me. As far as giveaway kit goes, I think it's a winner. I ended up getting two of these. I dyed this one, this hideous, ugly brown. Uh, that was a mistake, so I regret that. That's why I dyed the second one I got green, because it's a much more uh, visually appealing color. And if you're not looking good, you know, well then, I don't want to dye ugly. So, uh, big fan of it. And, and I have this one set up uh, to, for a giveaway one. I'll probably move this one towards that giveaway one. And again, it came with the original pouches, right, which are a little worn, but, but functional. So I like it so much, I got two of them. I think it's super comfortable. And for again, the 70, 80, let's just say you spend $100 to get this kitted out, I think that's gonna behoove you. And it's probably, you know, if you were to buy this all brand new from the latest tactical store, you'd probably spend, I don't know, 300 bucks, maybe four for this, for this kind of setup. Like it's, it's a legit, comfortable, feasible setup. The fact that it works with and without a ruck is great. The fact that you have that butt pack you can flex in and out is also great. So if you want to go light, you're just going to put the butt pack on, stuff what you can in there, you know, your nods, your poncho, whatever, um, and just roll with it. You can do that. You can carry two quarts of water on you. Uh, again, I could wear like a camelback or whatever in my pack to carry more, and you can easily plus up and plus down. That's a really big thing to me these days in these videos is being able to flex up and flex down with your kit so that you can have it adjusted towards, you know, whatever situation it is you encounter. So if you were at all uh, where I am and you're considering a good giveaway kit, and even when I first started talking about giveaway kit, a couple of you mentioned in the comments, hey, I just get a flick. So again, you're way smarter than me. Uh, but if, if you're at all in that realm of th thinking about how would I do giveaway kit, then I would highly recommend going out and getting a surplus flick. You can do, run this with all surplus pouches. Uh, this is the IFAC pouch that, that is the official, you know, IFAC pouch, the IFAC pouch of the area. And I, on my other one, I have a full IFAC stuffed in here. I've just made this one into a GP pouch. Uh, this is a uh, padded uh, case that is originally made for the canteen pouches. Um, and this fits actually in this IFAC pouch pretty well. And so that allows me to put things like nods or my GPS or thermal or whatever in here and not have to worry about it all getting all, you know, beat up and destroyed. So. Big fan of the versatility of these. You can stuff an eye back. Like I said, I'm just using this one as a GP pouch. You can do, you can flex into a lot of different places and you could build someone a full kit. So you can hand them and say, hey, you got two quarts of water, you have an eye back, you have mags. Uh, on the inside of the flick, again, a lot of you probably already know this, but just in case you're new here and just in case you don't know this, on the inside of the flick, it has these large, flat admin pouches, right? So you could put your map in there or you could put, you know, your notepad or whatever. As long as it's paper-like and flat, you're gonna be just fine. And it's gonna fit and ride in here just fine. And it has those on both sides. So I really like that option to be able to, again, flex in my gloves or whatever's gonna go in there. And if you ever need to do, you just need to throw this on, right? You can run it open for a while. It's not as comfortable, but again, if I had to grab and go and I could just grab it, throw my arms around it, grab my rifle, and now I can go do stuff, uh, and then when I get time, I can zip this up and cinch it down and make it more comfortable. So, or if I just am patrolling and I need to dump some heat, you could again open this up and dump some heat. That being said, this is super breathable and very, very comfortable. And I uh, would consider making it my potential main kit, but as giveaway kit goes, it is fantastic. 
So this is my endorsement of the Flick setup, uh, particularly for giveaway kit. I like that it's versatile. I like that it's affordable. I like that it's versatile, similar to the chest rig, where you can flex up and down with the pack and flex up and down with armor, right? That's important to be able to do to meet your variety of whatever it is you think you're gonna be doing. So I like those. The only downside is uh, you can't run a pistol with it, and if you run the butt pack with it, you can't run a pack with it, but that's kind of meh to me because again, traditionally I'm gonna run a chest rig and as running a chest rig, I can't run a butt pack really anyway. So I don't, that, that to me is really only a plus, the fact that you can run a butt pack if you want um, and then if you don't need it, you just you run a full size pack like a man. So, you know, make your decisions. I hope that's helpful, I hope that gives you some ideas. I hope it gives you an affordable way to either build kit for yourself or to have a kit piece stored away for someone else. Drew Brave Beats and Endure to be able to have a pistol. So those are those are things you're definitely gonna lose. That being said.